you are the sum total of all of the choices that you've made up until now. And anything about yourself or your life that you don't like or isn't working or is immobilizing you is to be looked at in terms of can I grow rather than why did I do it or isn't this wrong? See, the two ways to motivate yourself are deficiency motivation, which says where I am I don't like. I don't like what I've done. I don't like the fact that I can't do this well or I can't do that well. So I will list these things in my own repertoire and then I will be constantly trying to repair those deficiencies, always assuming that I'm deficient, that there's something wrong with me and I'm trying to fix it. And when you do that, you spend your whole life doing that. And you never arrive because your life becomes a series of trying to get someplace else. And it is, if you follow that, if you live that, if you behave that, then what, you, what happens to you is you become a person who will always suffer from this disease called more. You always have to have more. Because whenever you are getting where you want to go, let's say you want $100,000 in the bank, and you work, and you struggle, and you deny yourself, and you do all of those things, and you finally, finally, you get there, and here you are, you got $100,000 in the bank. All of this stuff over here is, of course, your life, and that is all you know. That's what you know how to, that's how you are. That is your being, that is your way of being. So that when you do get here, what you will do is say, this is not enough. You must, a no limit person is never operating from deficiency or from lack in their life. They're never saying, I don't have enough. You see, you're never going to get enough. You already are everything. You're everything that you need. Think of it for just a moment. Everything that you need to have total bliss, perfection of your life, you already are. You already have it. You came into this world with nothing. That's how you're going out. And the time that you have here, it, what you have is your uniqueness, your specialness, and you don't need anything else. Now think on this. If you don't know how to appreciate what you have and where you are in your life, you don't need anything else. Because if you do get something else, you won't know how to appreciate that either. You'll just want more. Or you'll want it to be different. Or you'll want it to be the way it used to be. Or you'll want someone else to be the way you think they should be. Successful people or no limit people or self-actualizing people or inner directed people however you whatever labels that have been put on them by great thinkers and philosophers and therapists and people uh, that have uh, looked at human beings these kinds of people are people who always have enough there are some people if you invite them over and you say um, you know I'd like you to uh, I'd like you to come over tonight, and I'd, I'd like you to stay over if you can, instead of having to drive back. And they'll say, well, I, can, you say can you stay? And I say, well, I don't know if I can stay or not. Um, well, you could sleep on the cot. Oh, no. No, I could never sleep on the cot. <laughs> I, don't, I can't sleep on cots. <laughs> uh, I got a sciatica. Don't you know that I have, a, I have back pain? And I, I don't, cots, no, that's out of the question. I couldn't sleep on a cot. Uh, and what about breakfast? Well, we don't have any food, but um, we have some old grapefruit that are in the... Uh, in the uh, refrigerator, they have a few spots on them. Oh, no, I could never eat grapefruit. And spots? No, thanks. I can't eat grapefruit <laughs> spots. I just couldn't do that. You know? uh, and these are people who uh, never have enough. They are, are not able to be flexible and to change. And there are other people, if you say, would you like to sleep over? Uh, we got a place in the sewer. <laughs> hey, that'd be great. I can handle that. <laughs> no problem. I slept there before. It's all right. And, <laughs> All we have is grapefruit. Oh, I love grapefruit. Well, we got, we've got spots on Oh, I really like grapefruit spots. Those are terrific. I'll, I'll go for those. There are some people who can handle anything, not because their circumstances are different. You see, your circumstances have very little to do with your fulfillment in life. Very little. It's, it's how you're approaching your circumstances. It's your attitude towards your circumstances that make all the difference in the world and 
taking what you are and accepting it. No limit people <laughs> are human beings who take what they are and accept it and don't tell themselves that somehow they're deficient because of anything about themselves. It's this idea of taking your life in your own hands and being the kind of person that you choose to be and understanding that everything that comes your way is an opportunity, is a blessing. You see, everything that was given to us by God, whatever that is, is perfect. No one can deny the mountains are perfect and the rivers are perfect and the birds are perfect and the hippopotamuses are perfect and, and, and so on. This is just what was given to us. Everything else that you have on our planet, that we have on our planet, comes about as a result of thinking. Thinking. Thought makes it so. All right? This microphone comes about as a result of thinking. Somebody imagines it. Somebody then tells somebody else about it. And, it's, and it creates it. The dress that you're wearing, the shirt that I'm the shoes that you have, the stage, these cameras. Everything that you see that wasn't given to us was created by man as a result of the way that we think. The way that we think. So what gets inside of us as a cell comes about as a result of the way that we choose to think in our lives.